GlennWarnerGorillaMaker.com. Today we're going to learn how to put Kapton tape on your glass table. The glass table we provide with our particular unit is a mirrored one. This is the smaller of the two that we provide. We have a quarter inch one and then we have this um, three millimeter one. So today we're going to take our Kapton tape. Uh, this is a 12 inch roll. Now if you notice right here we have the tape kind of bent over on itself. This is so easy to tear. If you was to cut your tape off and not kind of uh, bend it over, you could have a difficult time peeling it back up. And if you peeled it back up and you had a tear in it, then you you would waste a lot of tape. So this is the best way we found that, you know, after you rolled some out to take care of it. So that in order to put the Kapton tape on the glass bed, there's a couple things you need to have. Uh, one is a type of spray you can use like, uh, we're using household surface. Uh, we buy a lot of this. It's an um, uh, inexpensive spray we use around our Gorilla Maker Zoo to clean stuff. What we're going to do is uh, spray that very gently, liberally, across here. And a couple other things you need is an X-Acto knife, scissors, razor blade, and some kind of squeegee. You can use a foam squeegee, a dense foam squeegee. We just happen to use these. We have a lot of them. We do a lot of vinyl here, too. Now, we've already rolled our Kapton tape out, and we're going to position it on here. And it's, it's not critical that the edge of the tape is perfectly square with the table. You just want to make sure the tape covers everything. So when we put this down, because it's so wet, when we push this down on here, any streaks we get, we can easily push those out. If you have to lift up on the tape a little bit after you do it, it's fine. Now the object here is to push all the water back out that we've squeegeed underneath it here, and it pushes out extremely, extremely easy. So anywhere where something doesn't look exactly right, you can You can push it right out with your squeegee blade. Now after I've rolled this, uh, cut this off, I'm going to peel a little bit more off so I can roll it back onto itself. Because I want to be able to do, be able to do the next table just as easy. So I've got that uh, rolled up like that so I got a good start. I'm going to take my squeegee and keep pushing this down. And it's like a little uh, waterfall. I mean, it just and it just pushes right out. And if um, you get a bump or something that doesn't look good, you just, it's pretty easy to fix. It really doesn't take a lot of practice. I've done quite a few of these. You can't be afraid to pull it back up. I got a little spot there I don't like, so I'm pulling it up to fix it. And then I'll just take my squeegee and make it go back down. I had a little um, ripple right there in the middle. I didn't know how that looked. That's a nice thing when you have a liquid on here. Okay, that wasn't so hard. That went pretty easy. Now I'll just set this on the edge and I'll go ahead and take my um, X-Acto knife and cut it um, all the way down. I like Kapton tape for printing. I wouldn't bother to put it on here if I was using PLA. I just print right to the glass. PLA, uh, for whatever reason, uh, adheres to the uh, mirrored uh, glass very well. ABS, not so well. With the Kapton tape on top of here, you have a super flat surface. 
and the model comes off extremely easy as well. Now I've just rolled some of that tape down. Be careful not to cut yourself on your edges. This glass is sanded that we sell our glass tables. Now hopefully when you're done, your mirror looks like this. Turns out with the Kapton tape, everything's nice and clean. When you print out your model, it'll be right there perfectly flat. That's how easy it is to put the Kapton tape in. So to recap, there's only a few things that you need. You want to make sure you have an adequate roll of Kapton tape that's wider than your surface. Now if you buy our, our Kapton kit, it comes with everything you need. You uh, have an X-Acto knife, as I prefer to use them instead of a small razor blade. I don't like holding the razor blade, it's just too small. I feel safer with uh, a whole blade and a handle. You need a squeegee of some type, either a dense uh, foam one or something like uh, is used for applying vinyl. And then you need a cleanser. Now you can use regular off-the-shelf Windex. I use uh, the bottle of this right here. There's the brand. It's called My Cleanse. It's a, uh, I don't know what they have inside of it. All I know is when I spray it on glass and I use Kapton tape on there, it squeegees out. It doesn't leave any residues and I don't have any lifting problem with my tape. Now after you've done all this and you've got your Kapton tape on here and you're happy with where there's no bubbles, no bumps or anything, you go ahead and put this on your printer and you can print, but do not put this on there until it's dried and you want to give it at least an hour or so. So it, all the evaporation can happen. Now you can speed that process up. Go ahead and put this in your printer Turn your, um, go to your menu options, uh, go down to prepare, go over to uh, ABS and turn your ABS bed on, uh, your printer bed on. Once you turn the printer bed up, turn it up to 100C, let this set for 20 or 30 minutes on there, heating, all the evaporation and adhesive will happen and you'll have a very durable surface on your glass table. That's all today. I'm Glenn Warner, GorillaMaker.com. Remember, Think bigger, think professional, and always unleash your growth.